very excited. Green pour and black pour are very different yeah. tasting teas. I very, my, um, uh, for me, I'm more familiar with uh, green pour cake. Now you it's told special me special green pot time. Huh? Yeah. Now you told me before that your dad isn't that one of your dad's yeah. favorites. I came from the Sichuan. Uh -huh. The pot huh, uh, in the older day mostly sell to the Sichuan. Oh, in the Sichuan, there is one river uh, named the Tao River. So the Tao, the meaning came from that. Also, the Tao meaning the looks like a ball. Mm -hmm. uh, Chinese also describe the shape of the lamb the Tao. Mm -hmm. uh, so my dad drink that a lot. Since when I was a little, I first time uh, can uh, touch the tea is a green, green. tall cha. Uh. And so just like with oolong and black tea, when you're brewing poor tea, the water temperature is, is boiling to bring out the flavor. And it's a short infusion. Do you think how long? Did you, just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute for the infusion. Yes. Uh, you try. Oh, you. It's very light. This green, the, the color is... Um, light It almost yellow. reminds me of a green, uh, some green some tea. Some strong green tea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It has kind of a... Difference between this kind of uh, green poor tea, mm -hmm. be between green poor tea and uh, real green tea, because mm -hmm. uh, when we process uh, green tea, we got to stop the Oxen. enzyme, mm -hmm. uh, oxidize yeah. right away. But uh, green poor tea, we never completely dried it. Oh, I see. Uh, that's why the green poor tea, it has uh, the dry, tea, dry leaves, mm -hmm. it has a lot of enzyme, still mm -hmm. has a life. Uh, well, I'm going to enjoy this, and we'll start brewing the black poor tea as well. Little bit mm -hmm. uh, Roast flavor. Yeah, roast. It's this first um, part uh, more mild. Mild, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you like a more rich flavor, uh, you can infuse mm -hmm. about uh, two minutes. Uh, but I suggest uh, if you are new poor tea drink, uh, in mm -hmm. the beginning go short time to try. I have to say with poor tea, it's very unique to any other type of tea. It has a very special characteristic, and in my experience, people really either love poor tea or not. Isn't there a story about when you become a tea drinker as you go through the teas, <laughs> what poor tea is like? Do you yeah, remember that uh, story you told me? Yeah, yeah. They, they sing, uh, the new tea drinker, in the beginning, they were like a jasmine tea. Because uh -huh. most people like the fragrance. Yeah, fragrance. They choose the tea by the smell. Mm -hmm. uh, then later, they will start enjoying the taste. Mm -hmm. So they will go to a green tea. Green tea has a beautiful taste. Mm -hmm. uh, smooth uh, and the um, long green taste. Uh, sometimes because jasmine can be very strong. Mm -hmm. So green tea more interesting taste. Mm -hmm. They will go raise, become green tea drinker. Then later, maybe they were more interested in the oolong tea. Because oolong tea has a more complex taste than mm -hmm. green tea. Mm -hmm. Then uh, if uh, they nerd the tea for a while, mm -hmm. they will already start to enjoy the poor. Mm -hmm. Poor it's a, uh, which is a uh, uh, more complicated tea. It is complicated. It has lots of different tones to it and aroma and richness. And let's, let's, we're going to continue and brew some black pour. Right? I'm going to continue to drink my green pour okay. while you make some black pour tea. What region in China, we said that's very popular pour tea. Um, what region is it most consumed? Most uh, people enjoy pouring what areas? South of China. Mm. Poor tea uh, process in the southeast in China, mm -hmm. but uh, they sell mostly to the south uh, in China, like mm -hmm. Guangdong province, mm -hmm. uh, Fujian province, and uh, Taiwan, Hong Kong, uh, even east uh, of Asia, very popular with uh, poor tea. Mm. What black are we going to make? I'm going to make some loose black pour tea. Okay. So if you use uh, the spoon, it is about uh, four tablespoon. Uh, if tea leaves are very big, like uh, our tea, one kind of lamb, the big tea leaves mm -hmm. pour tea, you need to put uh, like two tablespoon. Uh, for this, just uh, about uh, so generally four grams, and so depending on the size of the tea leaves, it might be one or two tablespoons. 
That's right. And do we need to rinse this as well? Yes. Ah. We like to uh, wash the, the tea before we drink. Drink the loose tea and the cake, big difference is uh, we know the exactly which grades we drink from the loose tea. Mm. But the cake, they like to do blender. Mm. They like to use different grades, okay. blend it together. Is that why when I look at particularly like a cake, I can see, oh, this is great. I don't want to drop it. <laughs> this, it has some smaller leaves and then it has bigger leaves. It's because it's a blend of uh, the different uh, areas Malcha. Uh, they like to uh, choose different grades. They also like to uh, choose a uh, uh, Malcha, which is uh, sun dried green tea, uh, lamb the Malcha, right? Mm -hmm. So they also like to choose the, from the different mountain, different oh, area. Mm -hmm. uh. Now, so uh, I was going to drink it, but I remember we have to rinse once. <laughs> yes. Uh, you see the color already comes out, uh -huh. uh, so you can imagine the flavor will comes out very fast. I think the first time that I drank poor tea, looking at the rich amber color, I thought it would be really strong, like a strong black tea. But it's very different. It has that beautiful color, but the, the flavor is actually mild, sweet, and slippery. Uh, all the poor tea, you, we use the four grams. Mm -hmm. Also, we must be use uh, boiling water to brew it. Mm -hmm. How long you use? In the beginning, we suggest about uh, one minute. Mm -hmm. If you like it stronger, maybe uh, over one minute. In the beginning, under the two minutes, huh, I will say, you will try. Then you will find the best time for brewing to match your taste. Mm -hmm. So if you were going to brew tea, in, pour tea in a yishin pot, you'd want to reserve that, that pot for pour tea, right? And not do oolong yes. and black tea. So I, this yishin pot, I only use, uh, for the, use it for the black pour tea. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Huh. Thank you. So color should be like a red, mm -hmm. rich, bright red, like amber. Yes, and that nice slippery quality and that kind of lingering sweet aftertaste. Little bit of woody flavor. A little woody flavor. Well, we hope that we answered some of your questions about poor tea, and we invite any other questions or comments that you have. You can go to sevencups.com, and until next time, we offer you fine tea and good health. We welcome your questions and comments, so please visit us at sevencups.com and we will answer any questions you have about tea and tea culture.